Here's problem 9-3. An 8 kilogram object moving 4 meters per second in a positive x direction has a one dimensional collision with a 2 kilogram object moving 3 meters per second in the opposite direction. The final velocity of the 8 kilogram object is 2 meters per second in the positive x direction. What is the total kinetic energy of the two mass system after the collision? Alright, we're, we're reading this and we find that they're asking for kinetic energy, but in this collision, kinetic energy is not going to be conserved. It's an inelastic collision. So let's realize that. We have an inelastic collision. These collisions with just one S. So um, momentum will be conserved, but not kinetic energy. So as in all these collisions, we want to deal with momentum first. So we have, in this one, mass 1, velocity 1 initial, plus mass 2, velocity 2 initial, should equal mass 1, velocity 1 final, plus mass 2, velocity 2 final. This will be true for all of our collisions. Momentum will be conserved. Let's kind of visualize what might be going on here. We have mass 1, which is 8 kilograms, moving initially, V1 initial, at 4 meters per second in the positive x direction. We have mass 2, which is 2 kilograms, moving at 3 meters per second in the opposite direction. So V2 initial is actually a negative 3 meters per second because it's going in the negative x direction. This is the way things are looking initially. And then after the collision, we've got, oops, I want to do this, mass 1 continuing in the positive x direction. So V1 final is positive 2 meters per second. And it's very likely that the smaller object has now bounced and turned around. So mass 2 has some final velocity, which we don't know. That's actually what we want to find out. And this is the way things look like in the final situation. Okay, so continuing with our conservation of momentum equation, we have mass 1, which is 8 kilograms, moving at 4 meters per second initially, plus mass 2, which is 2 kilograms, moving initially with a negative 3 meters per second. That should be equal to, oops, I won't do that, equal to mass 1, 8 kilograms, moving with a final velocity of positive 2, plus mass 2, kil 2 kilograms, moving with a final velocity which we wish to find. <clears throat> we have a bunch of numbers in here, and we have V2 final, so we can solve for V2 final. This is 32 minus 6 equals 16 plus 2 times V2 final. So V2 final is going to equal 32 minus 6 minus 16 divide by 2, which will be um, 10 divided by 2, or 5 meters per second. So that's our final velocity, and that's nice to know, because now we can figure out our final kinetic energy for the whole system. The final kinetic energy is 1 half mass 1, V1 final squared, plus 1 half mass 2, V2 final squared. So this will be 1 half times 8 times final velocity 2 meters per second squared plus 1 half times 2 final velocity 5 meters per second squared. One of the 1 halves and one of the 2's cancel out. 1 half and 2 there. So this is going to be 16 plus 25 or 41 joules. Kinetic energy is not conserved. If we wish, we could figure out our initial kinetic energy and prove that. But um, 
Our only way to go about this was to uh, use conservation momentum because we knew that would be conserved and then figure out our final kinetic energy after that. Uh, uh, uh.